Hello, Cancer. This is your X rating. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, oh, um, welcome. And uh, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. This is a general, so it will not resonate for everyone. If you're interested in a personal, um, then that information is in the description box below, okay? We'll let these cards die. We're going to do a little something different here. I've incorporated some Romance Angels cards and one just slipped out. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and read it. First one out we have is Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here or attraction. Okay. Hmm. I like it. Ooh. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Huh. Everything that seems good probably is not, okay? It's not always, rather. That's what I'm getting from this. Hmm. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, okay? You know, what I get from this is, for some of you, the person that you were actually thinking about the one that you actually have such a strong connection to you feel um, may possibly not be the one. It may be somebody else that you um, are not even thinking about. So it's just what I'm getting from that. Let's see what the tarot has to tell us. Oh, look at this. Mm. I do feel like you guys in the past felt like you found the one. It's falling right under chemistry. You found the one that you felt like you could spend the rest of your life with. You felt very connected with this person. I feel like you felt like an overall connection spiritually, um, physically, something that you could not explain. I feel like. Let's see where the other person's coming from. Yeah, they felt it too. They felt it too. If you guys notice, I am not calling out signs. I got a comment. And I know you can't, you know, everybody likes different things. But um, there was one um, viewer that felt like I shouldn't call out signs because it may confuse people. Um, so you guys let me know what you think, okay? But this person felt a very strong um, connection as well with you. Where you are right now is the Ace of Pentacles. I think you're feeling yourself. And I think that um, you're comfortable where you are right now. I think that you are very, um, you're very spiritual. You are very caring, very loving. Um, you take care of your family. You take care of the people that you hold near and dear to you. I feel like people look to you. They look to you for guidance. They look to you for advice. You know, that sort of thing. They're the Nine of Pentacles. Huh. Somebody's tired of being, um, I feel like some some people, some of your exes are tired of being single. They are very reminiscent on the love that was shared between the two of you. Because what I'm, what I'm getting is somebody did not want commitment before. That they felt like they wanted to live the single life. And I, I kind of get the impression that maybe you... And it could be the other person that was doing this, but I'm feeling strongly that you um, probably disclosed to this person just how strongly you felt that you guys were connected. And they probably were like, eh, you know, that's what I'm getting here. But um, they are really thinking about what you guys share the feelings between the two of you. Let's see what you want. You just want to be happy. I feel like you just want to be happy and fulfilled. I also feel like 
there is um, an indulgence with you. There's something that you are doing that is, you, you're feeling like good and you're feeling, you know, yourself, but I get the feeling that maybe you're feeling yourself a little too much. There's something that you're overindulging in here because both of these cards are laying on top of pay attention to the red flags. So I feel like there is something that um, that you are doing that is possibly in excess, whether it's the way that you are functioning with other people, whether it's like, um, you know, what it is that you're putting in your body, whether it's like drinking or drugs or whatever it is that, that helps you to be this rock for other people, or it could just be something like, you know, overeating or not eating as well as you should, something like that. But um, you guys know your own personal situations. But I feel like you're just at a point where you just want to be happy. And I feel like whatever it takes for you to be happy, I think that's what you're doing. Because I, I kind of feel like you're trying to take your focus off of this connection that you feel with this person because you feel truly drawn to them. And the fact that you guys are not together is, you know, it's still, it's still there. That's still there. That vacancy is still there. Let's see what they want. Seven of Swords. They're kidding themselves is what they're doing. They're kidding themselves. I feel like they are struggling with remaining single because they like doing whatever it is that they're doing. Um, living a single life, not having to, you know, answer to somebody, you know, that type of thing. Um, they're not really wanting to, you know, think with their emotions, so to speak. They want to think very logically and calculate every move that they make. Well, you can't really do that when it comes to love, okay? But that's what they're wanting to do. They're wanting to approach things from from a logical standpoint and, and not let their emotions take control of them, okay? Let's see what you guys need to do. I feel like you need to, to lend somebody else some responsibilities is what I feel. And this is relating to like your home life. Um, in every arena actually, you need to you know delegate some responsibility here. Um, but at the same time, I feel like as far as a relationship is concerned, then there is a need to like share the burden with the other individual, whoever it is that you involve in your life. Um, do not take on all the responsibility of being the one that's supportive because at the end of the day, you guys need to be supportive of each other, whoever you're with. You know, it's not one person's responsibility to take up the slack, you know, not on a daily basis. You know, if one of you falls down, yeah, you take up the slack, but you know, it's not like you just carry the whole relationship by yourself. Like you feel like you're in a relationship by yourself. Let's see. Yeah, they need to get stable. They need to get stable. I feel like they need to... They need If they want love, they need to do what it takes to actually be involved and incorporate someone else in their life. They need to realize that they cannot have this and this at the same time. It does not work like that. So there is a need for them to um, be more active in this connection. They need to make the effort as it lies right under make the effort. They need to make the effort to go to come towards you if that is indeed what they want to do and I see that here with this two of cups they need to take on some of this responsibility of of trying to make this relationship work here okay 
And let's see what the outcome is for you guys. What is the outcome for Cancer? King of Wands. I know I said I wanted to call out signs. But um, I feel like this this is this is a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Um, that is trying they are trying to get their head together. They're trying to wrap their head around this situation between you guys, this connection. They are weighing whether or not they want to carry part of the burden of being in a relationship with you. Okay? Looking right at you here. Let's see what they need to do. Or, why did I say that? What the outcome is. Yeah. It's going to take a while for this person to actually approach you, I feel. But I feel like they're on their way to really reconciling in themselves here with the hermit because the hermit isolates themselves. But they're trying to reconcile first this and this energy so they can have this with you. Okay. They're trying to get themselves together. They really, this person is, um, I'm feeling a bit confused because this is strong for them. They can't let it go. They can't let it go. They don't even really understand it. That is why they're here. They don't even really understand why they feel so strongly towards you. Okay? But the fact is that there is very strong chemistry and you guys are quite possibly meant to be. Okay? Doesn't mean that it's going to be because we do have free will here. But there's a strong possibility that this individual will come back. But right now they are isolating themselves because they're quite confused about the connection between the two of you. Okay? So my cancer, that's what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.